Hello and welcome to the astrology reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Taurus, I'm looking at the planets for the end of November 2018 and so this is going to give you an idea of what November energies are leading up to. I did write some notes here for you and your chart is pretty interesting for that time frame. Uh, just to let you know, I will do another report for um, the end of December. So if you want to come back for that one, you could do that. So this is for um, Sun Sign Taurus. Also, if you're a Moon Sign Taurus or a Rising Sign Taurus, uh, this video may be helpful for you. I won't be looking at the aspects in this video or the nodes just yet until I can figure out how to incorporate them into the reading, uh, you know, and not make the reading too lengthy. Okay, Taurus, so like I said, I did make some notes, and uh, so let's get to your reading. All right, Taurus, the first thing, and I forgot to put your name at the top. Just give me a moment here. Mm -mm -mm. It's kind of important to me. It might not be important to some others, but it's important to me. Okay, so Taurus, the first thing that um, I notice about your chart is this Uranus in Aries in your 12th house okay so most of the charts I've done so far have started in the first house but um and second house third etc yours is the first that starts in the 12th which I found very interesting so I want to get into what that means for you at this time first thing I want to let you know though Taurus is we've all been going through it with this whole Uranus and Aries thing Nobody's enjoyed it. It hasn't been fun for for anybody. It's just affected different zodiac signs in different ways. That's all. Okay. So when I get into this, don't feel like it's just you. It's not just you. It's been everybody, but it's just been different uh, spheres of life, as they say in astrology. So Taurus, I'm looking at uh, your Uranus in Aries in the 12th house and Uranus in Aries is telling us, you know, where we're going through a war. Obviously, when whatever it is started, it didn't start out as a war, but um, yeah, especially now that it's retrograde, it's telling us where we may have gone through recently, some type of war. So for you, that meant um, something psychological or some spiritual pursuit or something having to do with the spirit realm, which could be so many things, something having to do with some secrets, maybe something came out or something having to do with your dreams. Again, this could be, this could be even, um, it, it could be even, what's the word I'm looking for? Even something to do with like psychic things having to do with your dreams. Okay. And also it's also the 12th house is also the house of karma. So whatever you went through, there was some type of like war, some people may call it inner inner struggle, having to do with these topics. Again, psychology, spiritual pursuits, the spirit realm, your dreams, secrets, karma. The good news is Aries goes direct on the 6th of January. So no more Uranus in Aries retrograde, okay? Uh, and Uranus will be moving right out of Aries, uh, in March. So that's good news. So no more of that, but you may have re experienced remnants of this recently that, um, probably have dissipated as well at this time. So just to let you know, it was all astrological. We we're supposed to learn our lessons, whatever that was for you. And now we'll be moving out of that. Okay, Taurus, so I'm going to move on to your sixth house. Taurus, I'm going to be talking to you about your love planet. And your love planet uh, is also 
the money planet. Like I said, I made some notes, so just give me a second here. Um, and it's also the planet of beauty. I'm talking about um, I'm talking about planet Venus. Okay, so you have Venus in Libra, which is great, in the sixth house. Venus in Libra can talk about love, beauty, money, um, and it's going to be intertwined with daily work, health, health, wellness, fitness, that type of thing. So things you may encounter having Venus in Libra in the sixth house is you may be wanting to um, beautify yourself in some way. But your motivation may have something to do with work. Okay. And you may also find that you want to beautify yourself more at this time. You might be looking into a new hair color, a new lipstick, some new shoes, a new cologne, anything having to do with beauty. Um, another interesting thing with Venus in Libra is you could find that you meet somebody new going to the gym or just on your travels to work. So keep that in mind if you're single and you're looking. You could meet somebody new at the gym, working out, or just on your way to work. Not even on your way to work. You could meet somebody even at work. Um... Because the sixth house talks about routine. So it could be on your way to work, at work. Also, um, you could find yourself desiring in some way to help others more at this time. Uh, Venus is a planet of face-to-face -face interactions. Again, it's in Libra. And again, it's in your house of routine and work. Uh, which can mean, yes, it can make us more helpful towards others or have us interacting with others um, more. Now, another thing is, if you were thinking about starting a side business, you may find that you are more interested in getting into beauty or some type of health business or some type of uh, health and fitness uh, business at this time. Okay, Taurus, so... Um, let's have a look at your eighth house. Now I'm telling everybody that Jupiter is going into Sagittarius and Jupiter and Sagittarius is where we're going to see a boom. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You're going to see a change in these areas. It, there's no way you can't because Jupiter is a fire planet and it's now in its own element in Sagittarius and it's just going to make things go boom kaboom so wherever this is for anybody it's bringing luck abundance growth opportunity expansion um good things okay so let me just see what i put for my notes here for the jupiter in um in sagittarius planet sagittarius uh sign and it's sitting in your eighth house um uh, Yes. Okay. So Taurus, I think you're going to like what I'm going to say here because I know Taurus are very good at uh, making and saving money. So I do have some good news having to do with money for you. Okay. So the eighth house uh, Taurus talks about money from savings or from service or from selling. It can also talk about transformation, sex and rebirth. So, um, looking at my notes here, Taurus, at this time you could see an expansion in your finances or some growth in your, in your money and your finances somehow. Okay. This will depend if you work for yourself, if you work at a job. Um, also there could be some type of rebirth, a rebirth. There, there may be something that you have completely cleaned out and have decided to start over again, rebuild totally new. And again, this could be in the areas of your finances, money, even sexually. Okay. 
um, you could find yourself also saving more. So at this time, I expect you to make more money and I do expect you to save more money at this time. Um, also another interesting thing I found Taurus is you could have more in sexual encounters at this time. Um, also the eighth house kind of rules like taboo sex and experimentation. So we want to be careful about that because Jupiter also represents abundance. So, you know, if you, if it matters to you, don't overdo it. And, um, yeah, something else I found interesting is you could be, I'll have to be careful with this one, but you could find yourself mixing sex and business. Take that however you want. When Jupiter is in the eighth house, yeah, especially in the zodiac sign, a fire sign such as Sagittarius, yeah, I'm just giving you a heads up. If it's your thing, it's your thing. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But you may come into something and say, oh, I remember I heard that on YouTube. So <laughs> I'm just giving you a heads up. Okay, so Mercury is also there, but Mercury is retrograde. Um, so, yeah, again, it's about money, sexual conversations, savings and investments. You could find yourself having conversations having to do with these things, but the warning with the retrograde is that you really have to be clear and sure, sure about what you're saying, sure about the message you want to get across. And as we always say, when it's Mercury's in retrograde, be sure you're getting everything. I'm um, sorry. Be sure that you are double checking documents, double checking emails, double checking text messages, um, anything where you'd be sending information back and forth. Make sure you're double checking them before you send them out because Mercury can just screw up conversations and communications. Okay. Um, yep, and the sun is just highlighting those areas even more for you, Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, I did want to talk about this ninth house here where you've got um, Saturn and Pluto. Saturn is um, the planet of our karmas. It's also, t it's also talking about structure uh, where we're becoming mature, where we have like maybe rules, uh, implemented upon us, let's say. Pluto is a planet of rebuild and, uh, they're both in the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Uh, this can be, this can be very fortunate. Uh, Pluto is water and, uh, Saturn is earth and Capricorn is Earth, which is all compat compatible. So you have this occurring in your ninth house, and your ninth house talks about astrology, spirituality, religion, and long-distance travel. So at this time, um, Taurus, uh, we're talking about the energies for the end of November here, 2018. You could find yourself even maybe planning, planning long-distance travel. Um... Now, seeing that it's in Capricorn, I'm thinking that this is more going to have to do with, um, yeah, you could be making plans to travel, actually. You could be. Um, but I'm thinking that this more has to do with the spiritual aspects of the ninth house. You could find at this time that you might have you might be embracing a religion or a spirituality, but it, it may or may not be of your choice or you may not be really wanting to do it, but you might be, yeah, I don't like the word force. You, you might have to for some reason at this time. You could be rebuilding yourself in some way. Again, the uh, focus is on astrology, spirituality, religion, travel, it can also be the law too. Um, so you could find yourself even studying law at this time. If that's being a passion of yours, it may come up as an interest, but you have Pluto, the planet of rebuild, and you have Saturn, the planet of structure and karma in your ninth house. So personally, I do think this probably does have a lot to do with some type of studying to do with maybe law or making plans for the future to travel. That's that's what I'm thinking this mostly probably means. 
Okay, so Taurus, um, let's have a quick look at your 11th house. In your 11th house, you have the planet Mars and you have the planet Neptune, and they're both in Pisces, uh, which Neptune is in its own sign in Pisces, which of course is compatible. And then we have Mars in Pisces, which is not in, not, it's not incompatible, but it's not, you're not going to really notice its, its energies or its effect too much. So, um, the 11th house talks about our hopes, dreams, and wishes. One nice thing about Neptune in the 11th house is you are more in touch with you. You are more in touch with what you want. You are more in touch with that inner knowing. So what does this mean for you, Taurus? It means that um, when it comes to things that you are hoping for, that you're desiring, your wishes, your goals, you have a sense of connectedness that you can now draw on to make decisions having to do with your hopes, dreams, and wishes, which is a very important thing, actually, because all things are emotional when you think about it. Everything is emotional. And sometimes we don't make decisions out of our emotional uh, awareness. But you have Neptune helping you there right now. And you could find a little bit with Mars that it's helping you to take action on what it is that you desire at this time. Um, so yeah, it's in Pisces in your 11th house. So, um, I expect at this time for you to, uh, pursue your goals, but to be, uh, but to have goals that, um, give you that sense of connectedness to yourself and also, maybe you might find yourself more creative at this time, too, because Neptune is very creative. So you may uh, be embracing creativity in your life in many ways. There's so many ways to do that. Um, but when I think of the zodiac sign of Pisces, I think of, like, water and, like, water colors, like, blues and greens and, like, purples. So don't be surprised if you suddenly take an interest in those colors or in things having to do with... Um, water but in some way maybe you feel inspired by like getting an aquarium that type of thing okay Taurus so I want to thank you so much for joining me again those were your energies for um November 29th roughly uh for 2018 and do join me for your December reading it's been an absolute pleasure my dear Taurus and I hope you're having a fantastic November 2018 bye for now